Well, the rain is come and gone. It is 7.30. We are here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. We are right outside of turn one. It's not raining right now. DJ Wayne and my Ricky Bobby Wonder Bread gear. We are getting ready to go inside the track, take a walk around, and pray that the rain holds off. Let's go. All right, we made it, we made it, we made it. We're getting ready to go on the track here in just a few moments. Tyler Reddick was supposed to be here with us this morning, but because he won the race uh, last week, well, you know what, now he's a VIP. So we're gonna be walking the track with Chris Boucher. Hey, we'll take it, that's awesome. But uh, it's starting to rain again. We're still about 20 minutes away from our walk. So hopefully the rain will come and go, but uh, right now it's starting to sprinkle, so fingers crossed. Track walk, Atlanta Motor Speedway, Chris Boucher, DJ Wayne. It's getting our day started. It's gonna be a beautiful day one way or the other. Here we go, we got the sheriff out here with us. He's not gonna go walking. Minnie Me's all excited about his track walk this morning. Darn right I am. Here's our first view of the track, Atlanta Motor Speedway. The rain, for now, has stopped. So we are making our way out to the track. We are at the start finish line. There's a flag, flag stand, getting ready to walk in. Oh, there you go. Up and over. And we are here. Now, it was right here last year we signed. Forky was here, but I'm sure it's long gone at this point since considering they pulled up the track. There's some burnout from yesterday. So there we go. We'll take us a nice shot of the whole track. We'll be there in Pit Road in a few hours. Flow Rida concert coming up. There's our seats, like way over there. So our seats are gonna be right about there. Everybody likes seeing that. Everybody likes seeing that. Everybody except y'all's track painter. <laughs> <laughs> we got it planned out, Chris. You're on the stage, win it, and burn them out. Got to burn them down right here. Perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> moved out when I was almost 16, and I moved uh, moved up to Charlotte, and Ken and everybody helped me get my my start in a big time auto racing. And uh, Ken did his best to make me a morning person. And <laughs> I've regressed a little bit lately. But uh, but anyway, I saw so, uh, Chris Bush, I drive the number 17 Fast and All Mustang for RFK. Uh, just want to say thank you to all y'all coming out. I know uh, weather was touch and go between being uh, 95 or rainy. So, uh, so thank y'all y'all for coming out and supporting Speedway Children's Charities. I uh, so really appreciate it. get to make a lap here around the racetrack. Um, the banking is deceiving from here, but I promise you we get down there, especially with it being a little wet, uh, probably not going to want to go up the hill too much, but uh, <laughs> might come back down a lot faster than you think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just uh, thank you all for coming out. Uh, Must be with Children's Charity has been, been supportive of, uh, well, been supported in NASCAR by, by fans, uh, by crews, by teams. Uh, by individuals here for a long time and so uh, again thank y'all for, for coming out and braving the weather with us ready? all right y'all ready wave that flag <laughs> got a decent little crowd walking the track today not bad but i'll say it's starting to rain just a little bit the track is wet so they suggested that we do not go too high on the turns, but that's not how I roll. That's the adventurous part right there. I'm going, especially on the corner of turn one here. 
she's taking a selfie. All right, we are, we're not too high on the banking yet, but uh, you can feel it. Look, everybody else is being brave too. They're like, why not? It is very hard on the ankles. You are right about that. It's gonna make a long day. Manny me talking it up with Chris Boucher. David Reagan's father there. And those bankings are hard on the ankles, so we decided to come on down a little bit. How far can you get up there? Sure. Yeah, it is. Oh, this is crazy. Good thing I didn't wear my margarita veils. Oh. It is very tough. And we got a long day ahead of us. What do you think? Oh, I got to touch the A at least. That way I can say I made it up here on this steep bank. Now let's hope I don't slip and fall. <laughs> That'd be the hard part, right? Yeah. And what's your name? I'm Billy and I'm a race. I'm the nine-year-old bandolero driver. And what's your name? Billy. Billy what? Billy Lee. Billy Lee. Yeah. What's your car number? 38. 38. Coming up. Go. On turn number one. And we are not up on the embankment now. We're, we're going to hug the line right here on turn one. So my new buddy, Billy Lee, B3 Bandolero driver out of Florida. You guys and girls, make sure you check him out. It hurts more coming back down. <laughs> yeah. All right, coming around turn two, getting ready to hit that back stretch. See how many wrecks can happen right here. The rain is still held off. Many me wants to rent an RV and do infield parking for the Daytona 500. I said, start saving your money. We'll do it. There we got some 12, 22, and two fans right there. Hey, check that guy out. That's a classic. So speaking of classics, we got two back to back. We got Gidget right there. And then we got that pretty one right there, that blue and white one. That is very cool. We are clearly in the middle of the back stretch. Yes. Mr. Reagan and Chris Boucher is talking about the back stretch and marks the hit. So we're secretly listening in. The rain has stopped, but the humidity is starting to set in. And my Ricky Bobby shirt is not very sweat friendly. Let's zoom in over there just a little bit, shall we? We're not allowed to jump the fence, but whatever. But a nice healthy walk around the speedway today. The yeah. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Is that where you're staying? No, I'm not. But it's nice. I've been down there. Oh, very I mean, good. It's hard, like you know, it's hard to see it from you know stands and everything. Are you having fun? Yeah. Do you want to see our spot? I do. Yes. Do you see that this flag? I don't. I can't see. I see the red and white. I see no, the Texas it flag. Closest to us. Yep. Those flags, the car flags. Yep. That's our spot. The white one and yellow one. Yes. Yep, I see it over That's there. Good it. deal. My car's right there. 
And what's the name of the bus? War Dogs. The War Dogs. Shout out Woo. to the War Dogs. Awesome. Woo. Sean and, ben. Sean and Ben, who is not walking with us today. No. They're over there just enjoying life. Sleeping. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on turn three. We might have to brave the banking again. Let's see what happens. Three. B3's up there. He's all the way up. I wish I had his energy. Let's see if we can slide up on the embankment of turn three here. Check out this track. Up, there's debris, debris on the track. I sure wish I had B3's energy over there. That'd be awesome. Yep, I'm not about to go up there and touch the Geico Cup Series sign. I touched the Atlanta sign, that's good enough. Thank you guys for watching. DJ Wayne, Atlanta Motor Speedway. If you have not already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, so you can stay notified because we got lots of videos to post today. We got pit passes starting at 12, flow rider concert, driver introductions, anything else we can probably get into. And there is where we've just come from. It has not started raining since we got out here. Maybe drizzled a little bit over before we got to turn one. Give you a good perspective. Check that out. That's crazy. We are in the middle of turns three and four. Give you that perspective again. Chris is down here. B3 is up top. Turn number four, and there's our seats right over there. 16th row, can't wait to see our seats. View of pit road there. We will definitely be back there a little later. We are coming up on the start finish line. We've made our 1.5 mile jaunt around the track. Ken and Chris still talking race strategies. There's New York and Texas hanging out. There's Mini Me and B3 over there chilling out. So if you ever go to a race, this is a nice little fun way to get your day started. A walk around the track, Speedway, children's charities there they go there's the ricky bobby talladega knights they're running again for the start finish line it's no way legal and neither one will win they'll both be disqualified so the win will go to the number three cal Naughton jr coming up on the start finish line of course i had to find the kyle bush m m's pit box which sitting right next to the RFK number 17, Chris Busher pit box. All right, 
that they're autographing. To the start finish line. So today's the race. Let's see what happens. Come on, we want to smash this bad boy. Ah, all over. <laughs> Jason decided not to wait for me, so there we go. There's Mini Me's, and there we go. Cheap plug. DJ Wayne Adventures, hashtag DJ Wayne Adventures. Dead center. Start finish line. So not only DJ Wayne here, we got RJ here sitting on the start finish line. Tell the story behind RJ, you want to hear it? Yeah, I sure do. Okay, tell me. Tell the story behind RJ. All right, so Ross Chastain, we got a chance to meet him yesterday. And, you know, he, he smashes the watermelon when he wins the race. So we figured let's bring him a watermelon. He can autograph it. And then we'll have the watermelon watching the race from our RV spot up above. And wish him good luck. And if he does win, he'll smash the watermelon and we'll smash RJ. That's awesome. So go ahead, plug your YouTube channel. Oh yes, yeah, so our YouTube channel is trying something new. Try the letter N, something new. And we do travels all over the world with our kids. That's great. DJ yeah. Wayne, DJ Wayne Adventures. Make sure you guys visit their YouTube channel. And let's see if RJ gets smashed in Atlanta. RJ. RJ. We're sitting here. We really hope we get to smash this thing for the winter, Ross. We'll find out in a few hours that. what's going to happen. So, but RJ is here representing Ross. There he is. We made it. Start finish line. Yes. We're definitely trying something new on this one. <laughs> So we are here, we're finishing up our walk, Atlanta Motor Speedway. It's beautiful out, it's very cloudy, but you know what, at least it's not 115 degrees right now. Humidity is about 10,000%, but man, we have had an absolute blast. They're doing their YouTube channel, and uh, you know what? Good, 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 good. Mini Me's bringing me a water. Thank you so very much, Ross. They're hoping for Ross Chastain to win so they can smash that watermelon. And then, uh, you know what, Chris Bush is over there hoping he can pull out a win today. Let's go for it. Hope you can pull one out as well. DJ Wayne, thank you guys for watching. Cheers. So we signed the start finish line. We got our photos taken with the driver. We've had a blast. They are not in a hurry to get us off the track, which is really cool. So who are you pulling for today? Uh, the pace car. All right, one of the really cool things. Me? Yeah. Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott. There's a Chase Elliott fan right there. And who are you pulling for today? That's a good question. Whoever my brother pulls for today. There you go. Whoever her brother pulls for. That's the way to do it right there. Well, those dark clouds are slowly starting to creep in over here. We're hoping they just kind of hold off and stay far, far away. It is 9 o'clock. Pit road opens for us at 12 o'clock, but that's all right. We are having a great time. We are gonna have a fun filled day. We've made friends walking the track. Can't wait to see them, can't wait to hear from them. Atlanta Motor Speedway, Quaker State 400 going to be a good day. Our track walk is finishing up, so it's time for us to get back up into the stands. We're going to find our seats, and then we're going to start tailgating. Let's go. So one more view around the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Nice, calm, quiet morning. And look, I got Chris Bush's autograph, too. So here is the view from our seats. Not bad. Right here at the restart. Love it. Going into pit road right there. Right in front of the Georgia Peach sign. Just shy of the start finish line. 